Hello ladies and gentlemen, we are back with more time frame. It's me, Mr. Kiriath. Now, as you know, I played this for Steam Gift Gamble. I absolutely fucking loved it. I wanted to finish it off. So, well, we're going to finish it off. We have got... Okay, so if we go that way, which way did I go to begin with? Yeah, this is the way, alright. <laughs> I had to get my bearings for a second there. So yeah, we are, we're going to finish this game because I really, really enjoyed it when we did it for Steam Gift Gamble. Uh, I, I was pleasantly surprised. I thought it was interesting, different... Just, just pretty, pretty fantastic all round, to be honest. So uh, we've, we've been, we've gone from the spy. We've sort of been round that way. You can kind of see via the map, uh, the, the little, the, the minimalist map, uh, as it were, that we've been to that place over there, where the spy is now. Uh, we went over there, over there, over there, over there, and now there were some statues uh, last time that we saw. That I'm just trying to remember where they are. Is that down there I think leads to the middle spot on the map that's directly opposite the spire so we're going to go and try and find the statues which is the spot on the right hand side that we have yet to discover ah there they are there they are I see them I see them I think do I see them yeah I do see them <laughs> yeah okay that's fine no sign of the nomad yet so that's good the, uh, the reason I worked out after the recording, um, that the reason I got kind of so confused as to what happened with the Nomad the first time round was, first of all, not knowing what the game was, as is the point of Steam Gift Gamble, I didn't know that eventually the time would reset. And it felt odd that it reset when it did, but actually I worked out afterwards that because I spent, I think it was maybe a minute, maybe 40, se 40 seconds to a minute, doing the intro at the start of the first video, um, that is why the Nomad kind of appeared before I'd made much progress you know, actually exploring, because I spent time talking, and, like, that's valuable time. It, it, it would appear in the in the opposite of most other walking simulators. You cannot really hang around in time frame, because the, you know, the world resets itself every ten minutes. So I wasted some time, like, doing the intro to the video. Obviously, it wouldn't have worked without an intro, but that kind of explains why I like why by the time I went out like outside and actually got something done, the nomad was already so close. Because at the moment, you can kind of see in the sky, uh, there's no nomad. It is not there. It is yet to arrive. There it is. It's just sort of it's just appeared over the over the horizon there. But we're going to get to the statues first, so that's fine. We can get to the statues first. Where is it? I just want. I just saw it. No, maybe I'm off my maybe I'm off my rocket. Maybe I didn't see it. Could be that you have to be kind of uh, looking in a certain certain direction to be able to spot it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. so this stuff's moving. This is different. This is new. This is new. It looks like the pieces are like only just falling from the statues. Funky. Is that? Have I got to get up there? Do we have a bit of a puzzle element going on here? That'd be kind of neat. That'd be nice. A little bit of puzzle. Uh, is there a... Jump? I can't... I can't, like, click anything, I don't think. There is a jump. I have yet to find it. Oh, that just gives me that, so... Is there something I can run up? That's falling. That's that's falling down there. Oh, okay. I'm just walking into it. That's that's a bit disappointing. But but I I'll, I'll let it go. I'll let it go for the moment. I don't seem to walk up this stuff. Oh, there it is. There it is. We need to we need to hurry up. I missed something. Maybe there is a. Oh, there's no. There's no jump button. There's nothing. You can hear me pressing stuff. There's no, uh... There's nothing like that. Oh! Oh, that's neat. Okay. So the, the statue's, like, falling apart as I'm looking at it. So the scroll that was up the top. Yeah, yeah, it's bouncing. Look, the pieces are bouncing. That's cool. I like that. Okay. Hurry, hurry up, statue. <laughs> I want to read the scroll before the nomad gets here. Eh. Eh, let me, let me read it. Let me read it. Mind you, I suppose if you're sensible, you'll take like the, uh, you take the outer, like the top three to the right there, and then you'd go down and you'd go 
Or if you quick, maybe you could get all the way around by which time the arm of the statue's fallen off. That's... I like that. It's getting more mysterious. I like more mysterious. Okay, the passage. A wise one seeks to root out their ignorance where a fool claims to have none. The pursuit of knowledge strengthens not only your own soundness of mind, but that of your progeny via the passage. We see our, we see our bodies mirrored in that of our children, so too do we believe our minds mirrored. Our bodies may perish, but our memories, our knowledge and our history lives on. The day will come when our minds will awaken again in that of the singular aggregarian. The sooner we root out all ignorance, the sooner we join as one. Soon it must be lest the nomad annihilate all progress. From the second chapter of the Strota, third stride, Stymus 43 to 49, statue entitled The Passage Commemorating the Fifth Approach Nomad in Cycle Commencia. Okay, so I think I'm starting to get a, a feel for this now. So, so but judging off that, we know water's got a significance to it, to this place. Like, they'd, they'd, they'd be into the water, presumably because it's, well, mostly desert. Pursuit of knowledge. Our bodies may perish, but our memories, our knowledge and our history lives on. Our minds will awaken again in that of the singular aggregariate. So the aggregariate is like... I'm assuming it's like a, a consciousness that's made up of like everybody. Or at least they believe that it's a consciousness made up of everyone. And the aggregariate is going to give them like the means to either stop or be kind of assisted by the nomad instead of being reset by the nomad. Although presumably the nomad hitting this like when the nomad hits, it doesn't destroy everything, it just resets everything. So when I think I'm seeing ruins, is it actually stuff that isn't finished because everything gets reset? Well, having said that, the world doesn't get reset. Only I get reset. Oh, God, this is complicated. This is complicated, but I like it. I like it. I'm not being spoon-fed a story here. I'm being given, like, pieces of the story, and I've got to piece it together, and I like that. Okay, so... Spire's over there. This feels like that central area. I can't see where I am um, on the map. I can only see in relation... Like, I can only judge, kind of, in relation to... Uh, landmarks that are represented on it so i guess so that's i don't see anything i can interact with here so if that's the spire that's the statues over there i think i need to be a bit further over it's definitely not that far from the spire i don't think there is a central pathway coming down here, so maybe I need to be a bit further over this way. Why did I can find it before the spire hits? I don't want to find it and start reading it, and then the spire hit and everything get like wiped out and reset. That would be really crap. Oh, here it is. It's over here. Do I have enough time to read it before that hits? Oh, I don't know if I do. I, do. I genuinely don't know if I do. So the first 10 minute cycle is coming to an end. Uh, according to my, uh, according to OBS, which is what I'm using to record this, sorry to break out of the actual, of the actual sort of investigation as it were. Um, I'm eight minutes and 40 seconds in, which means I've got a minute and a half before the reset. It must be that archway over there. I'm going to go and check it, because if it is, I'll just run straight here once the reset hits. I'm still honestly blown away by how nice that looks. I know it's simple, and I don't care. It's... it's... You know, not everything has to be complicated. Sometimes the, the simplest kind of graphics can, can look the best. There's just something about the way they've done that. Works for me. Works really well. Is that fire starting to move? It is starting to move. So after a certain number of resets, is that... Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, there we go, the reset. So that reset was like 9 minutes 40 into the recording that I, that I... You know, when I started? Right, okay. I'm not sure I want to go down that end bit yet, you know. I don't think I want to go. I want to think. I think we're going to save that till last. I don't know whether they, whether the 
the developers want you to save that till last, but I think I'm going to because I've just got a feeling that that's going to be the thing that ties it all together, and I want to reach that discovery at the end. Like, I don't want to... I prefer to guess and then kind of find it rather than, you know, just, just kind of discover it and then have the rest of the story told, make it fit. So I'm going to go... I'm going to go up this way. Should have another landmark over here. Another... Another bit of story. I'm not really sure what to class them as. I think landmarks fair, but they're kind of a bit more significant than just landmarks because you get this, you know, you get these these hints as to what's happening and what's what's going on with the world. Oh, I've misjudged that. Is it up there? Yeah, no, I guess that kind of yeah, no, that does fit. Yeah, I just misjudged it. Because there's no distinct paths as well. Like There's a distinct path down the middle, but even getting to that path down the middle is not as simple as it looks. Like you kind of have to go off the beaten track, so it were. As it were, so it were. Same difference. That cent There's a central path that goes... It looks th like from under the bottom of the spire. It still looks fantastic, by the way. But this is the thing. This is the thing. It's like... I'm. I wasted precious time going the wrong way there. I really did. I wasted precious time. So this is going to be the landmark that's like opposite. Is it? Maybe it's not. Maybe I'm... Maybe I've gone some crazy way. Because this is like directly behind the spire. Unless this is the... Oh, no, 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 it can't be, no. Yeah, no, because the tree's over to the right, so this is... I don't know what this is. It's not marked on the map. I'm still going to go over there, but... I what? Maybe... Bunky. This is interesting. This isn't... This isn't ruined, like the rest of the stuff. This is like the spire. This isn't ruined. This is whole. It looks like those plates, like the way they're attached, would like slide down. What? Oh, cool. Okay. Okay, nice. So I've got to... I think I've got to collect all the stuff before I get on there. I don't know if getting on there now will mess it up. I don't know if it'll mess it up. Kind of want to, but I don't want to screw it up. Like, I don't want the game to just end. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. But now we know what to do. Now we know what to do. So, once I've... Yeah, once we've got the... Uh... Once we've got the other clues... I say clues. I don't... What do I call them? The other landmarks, the other symbols. Just the other symbols. Once we've got the other symbols, we'll go back there. So, we've got the... The six on that side... And then we've got the one at the end. And then we'll head back up to that. Because I think I need to have all the symbols unlocked on my on my map. To be able to activate it. I'm assuming... I mean, that seems the most sensible. Sort of solution to all of this. Ah, that looks interesting over there. I think that's probably... That might be one of... It. Further. That might be the middle or left, top left even. It's kind of disorienting, to be honest. Disorientating? Disorienting. Disorient. <laughs> whatever that word is, you know what I mean. Oh, okay. That's a big drop. How are we doing for time? Oh, God. We're not doing well for time at all. That detour's messed me up severely. But it's fine. It's fine. Maybe I should go to that middle one. Maybe uh, I'm taking like a, a daft path here because there's it's quite rocky and hilly. Maybe I'm supposed to loop round. Actually, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Maybe I'm supposed to loop round, not go the way I've gone. Oh, hello. Right, we'll see which one this is then. What have we got? This is different. This is, this is, hmm. So these are all like these are all like crazy monuments, almost like temples and stuff. 
Hang on a sec. What? Where's the clicky? Where's the clicky? Game, where's the clicky? The nomad's coming. Where's the clicky? Is it in the middle of the thing? I've got to go down the tunnel. Is this going to be another path? Because if there's another path, this would be awesome. Because, you know, we'll know what we're doing. Or is it a cave? Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, man. Holy shit, look at it. There's like an entire, like, other bit of the world I didn't even know about down here. Can you explore this stuff? Okay. Astronium. The mineral commonly known as Astronium has... It has held a revered status among religious institutions and adherents since pre-archival pre times, primarily for the minerals, light refracting and concentrating properties. In later generations, it has found even greater value among traders and craftsmen in use as a form of currency. Its true value, however, has only been revealed to us in very recent cycles with the discovery of the mineral's ability to convert light into pure energy. The process is still not fully understood, but its applications are virtually limitless. Okay. Well, that makes sense with the uh, astro astron astronomer, astronia, <laughs> not big, that big, whatever this stuff is. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. But yeah, that massive crystal we saw. That's what, yeah, that's what this is. So that's, that absorbs light. Then is it going to, are they trying to absorb all the energy from the nomad before it hits and stop the cycles? Oh, that's... Yeah, in any other game, I'd be dead from that lot. <laughs> Probably. Okay, how are we doing? Yeah, not bad. Not bad. We took a big detour there. We took a big detour, so I'm happy with that. I might loop around the other way after the uh, after the Nomad hits, unless you can get over here. I'm not going about this very efficiently, but that's because I'm just like... I'm not really trying to. I'm just trying to... I'm just enjoying the game. Which is fair enough. It's fair enough, ain't it? We all we can all appreciate that. Uh, they, everything they've made um, for these uh, for these symbols, it really kind of I like it. It's, it's all very bold and very iconic. Seems daft, given it literally puts an icon on a map. But you know what I mean. It creates a very very striking visual that I don't think I could. I think I could identify this game from that. Luckily, walking backwards seems to be just as fast as walking forwards. He says, realising that that's probably not the case, actually. Might be a bit slower, actually. It's hard to tell. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, so you're definitely, you're definitely supposed to approach this from the other direction. So I think... I think I'll go the other way. I'm not going to get up here in time, I don't think. How are, we, how are we doing for time? We've got like a minute. We're not going to make it. But it'll give us a nice uh, a nice platform to view the Nomad from again. I feel like I want to see it hit every time. So I wonder if the cycles are like getting shorter. Like they're not, they're not for us. But like before the Nomad turned up or whatever. Like maybe the, the cycles were getting shorter and shorter. And that's why they started looking at ways to try and combat it. But it definitely looks like time's starting to move again because the flames over there are definitely like mind you, they don't seem to be doing it from this distance, but when we were closer, they were definitely moving a little bit. Only a little. And the statue fell apart, so I've gone the way around anyway. <laughs> That's I'm just gonna We're just gonna We'll watch the world end together. Again. For like the fifth time since we started playing. <laughs> fifth or sixth. Also, the music doesn't get repetitive, which is nice. I'd see who did the music for this. There we go. Right into the spire, every time. So, we said that we weren't going to go to that central bit, but I think, actually, that central bit might be the way to go. Because it looks like you're kind of meant to loop from one side to the other, so we'll do it. We're told we'll loop from one side to the other. I hadn't, I hadn't thought about actually trying to interact with any of those um, tablets in there. Actually, 
now I've come to think about it. I think I've, I've kind of ignored them, but now I've got more stuff on the uh, on the map. Maybe that's not so much of a good idea. Like maybe I'll get something out of it. Yeah, there's no like real easy way down here apart from going around the edge. I think it's not that I can see. I don't mind walk walking around the same places either with this, which is uh, kind of impressive if you can do that. Like if you can make it so that someone doesn't mind uh, repeating their steps, that's that's good. But is that fire moving? I think it, I think the fire is starting to move. I think maybe because time definitely was not moving before. I wonder if us kind of going around and. Uh, by activating these symbols on the map and learning more. It's kind of like powering up whatever that thing is back there. You see my little mouse movement there to signify it back there? You know, like you're looking over your shoulder. That thing back there. Um, <laughs> I wonder if that's kind of turning it on. Like warming it up and then when you get close to it and then step on the thing, it'll activate it and something hopefully amazing will happen. Or maybe it will take all the power from the nomad and like and like push it into the world. That would be cool. Whatever, whatever that is. Yeah, I feel like that. I feel like that fire is moving. I feel like it's doing something now, whereas it wasn't before. Still no sign. I think we're clear. I think we're clear for a few minutes. I think we've got maybe. Uh, I want to say maybe, t not not 10, but maybe about eight and a half, eight minutes or so until Nomad hits again. I like this element of it though. I, I'm liking the, I'm liking keeping, tr well, trying to keep track of the time. I've kind of lost it a little bit because I haven't checked since the last one, but it's just, you know, one of many little, little elements that's kind of making this game interesting. And different as well. I do like that aspect of it quite a lot. Here we go. Ah, I th think that was a, a bit of fire there. It's like a massive gate. Look at it. And it well, it is a massive gate. So this wall has been constructed to stop something from coming through. But what? It's like there's all these weird ruins that are from different points in time like massively different points in time by the look of it by the descriptions written of them it's like it, things are getting more advanced and more interesting and there's this massive sodding door in the giant wall but what holding back victory gates both barricade and monument the grand wall and victory gates will stand for generations to come as stalwart unmoving defenders reminding all of what was lost and what will now be saved after 17 cycles of unyielding construction Wall's designer, Kalith Dothkalin, places the final capstone in its setting, marking a new age of protection and prosperity. The memory of this day will surely be treasured by the aggregariate with the grace of the Nomad. The Astronium War Chronicles. So, when Astronium was discovered, it did it plunge the place into war? Like, were they fighting over it? And that's what this was built for? So there's definitely right. So there's definitely like some sort of like uh, like life after death motif going on here with like the aggregaria and and all that stuff. It's like there's definitely it's like a no, like a, a a religion is built up around the nomad, which is fair enough. I mean, look at it, and it keeps resetting time, but by the look of it, only time like for people. I don't think it's resetting time altogether because it talks about the cycles which i'm assuming is the the cycles of the nomad hitting and re and doing the the reset on the world it's obviously not resetting like landmarks it's resetting people because it, they took 17 cycles to hit to, to construct that i mean i'm assuming that the cycles were longer then that's the thing as well like we've got dates we've got like 1999 and 2000 and 
and that the wall's like 599 but the idea of having like uh i guess years how does that how does that work because it talks about cycles but 17 cycles if that refers directly to the to the nomad that's no time whatsoever because that's like that's like 10 minutes at this stage so like how long did it actually take like how long were the cycles before i'm assuming they were really long and is cycles how they decided years because this is where it's starting to start to mess with my head because i'm assuming that like what we're seeing here is like the end of the process whatever's happening like whatever the nomad is and whatever it, you know wh whatever reason it it keeps like hitting it's obviously getting worse and worse and worse right because well it's like every 10 minutes that's pretty severe you can't do anything because it keeps dumping you back at the spire so at some point it must have been like not 10 minutes but like like years literally years before between nomad hits so you'd have a year and then it would hit or maybe you'd have 10 years and then it would hit but like 1999 could have been like a 10 year cycle just in terms of time i mean i don't know how many minutes that is but then 1998 could have only been like a nine year cycle so how does it scale like i don't know how it scales oh i like i like this i like this it's making me think it's making me wonder it's I'm, I'm really trying to work out how... I mean, I could just be reading far too much into it and I haven't thought that much, but even if that's the case, even if they've accidentally made me think, they still made me think, and that's still a good thing. Uh, the Age of Affirmation. The fears of our past have been supplanted by a new hope for the future. Signs of the legendary nomad have been absent from our skies for many generations, but we use its symbol to remind us of our Im impermanence. We have seen war and disease and famine, and yet we remain. The knowledge of the aggregariate still resides within us. We are now the observers, the reflectionists, the speculators, the archivists, the concluders, the affirmationists. We uncover truth and uphold it for all to see. From the ideologies of the Herald, Astrid Doth, Bastyr, cycle 974. Monument commemorated in cycle 1000 to celebrate a new age of affirmation. Signs of the legendary nomad have been absent from our skies for many a generation. So... Oh, I'm starting to get messed up with the different dates now because that kind of implies that at one point either the either the nomad wasn't hitting like it was just gone or that was at a point where the nomad hit once and then they didn't see it for ages that's the thing as well is it constant is it even constant like i'm saying it hit at like 19 it didn't hit for 10 years and that was one cycle but then it hit the next time like nine years and then it's time eight years and then seven and then six and, and so on like that what if it's not even that simple what if it's like it started out random so that was put up because it was like oh there's no nomad nomad's gone we haven't seen it for ages it's it's obviously it's obviously not not going to happen anymore so they you know they erected that big statue to kind of commemorate it except it's quite clearly still here because look at it it's it's right there so Oh, so wiki for this game. I'll tell you what, if I can't work out what the overall story for this is by the end of it, then I'm absolutely just going to email the dev and find out what it is. Because I, I want to know. Like, I really want to know. Have I got enough time to read this up here before the Nomad hits? I think I have. It's a bit of a race against time, but I think I've got the... Oh, man. There we go. I think we've got time for this. I should investigate the, uh, the stones after this. Waning hopes. For 17 cycles we have struggled searching for a way to prevent or forestall the impending visitation of the observed spacefarer. Affirmationists and revivalists united have found no refuge. I fear that inability to admit defeat and leave this valley may bring about our destruction. But the hope of the aggregariate lingers within... Damn it! Damn, damn, damn. I thought we had enough time, but we didn't. Sugar. I'm going to try the stones. I'm going to have a quick look at the stones before we go anywhere else. Because if we can, if we can read it from these, that would be pretty cool. It'd be pretty cool. It'd be pretty damn helpful, frankly. Okay, so we've got. No, I can't. Bollocks. I didn't get to finish reading that one though. 
Damn it. If I walk straight there, do you reckon I can get there? Because technically we got it, but I didn't get to finish reading it, and I want to I want to finish reading it. But that will waste, like, a considerable amount of the cycle. I think it doesn't even matter. Does it even matter, really? I'm kind of heading this way anyway. I'm going to be going past there. That's where we want to go at the end. But it talks specifically about this valley. So they've been locked in this valley for however long. So in terms of like... In terms of order? In terms of chronology? Was the was the wall first? Because that would explain being, being locked in the valley. That would explain not being able to get out. Because, well, the gates are sealed shut. It's a massive sodding wall. You're not going to get past there. So if you're locked in there, then there's like there's going to be like rampant paranoia about the nomad and all that stuff. So that could be that could be a big part of it. Where is he? Is he around? No, he's not prepared yet. <laughs> God. Okay, so we investigated that. But, uh, no, you know what? Let's go over here. Let's go over here first. We're right close to it. If we play it right, we should be able to hit that. And then we should be able to get there as well. Are those like windmills over there? So have I gone round the wrong way? Or does it not matter which way you go round? I wish I'd have taken a screenshot of all of this, you know. Like a screenshot of everything for... Every statement that you get. For each symbol. Because to be able to read it again without having to walk there would be really good. Like, I'd, I'd really like to be able to do that. I've been getting an achievement for everyone I've unlocked. So, I don't know whether maybe the description for the thing is in... Like, it's in the description for the achievement or something. That would be cool. Let's... Uh, which am I close to? It doesn't really make any difference. I, I think I'm about e equal distance from both. Any downside to having no set path from what I can see is that it is making it a bit tricky to get to stuff. But I, mean, I guess that kind of plays into the whole thing, doesn't it? So I don't know whether that's really something to complain about or not. But that pendulum that I clicked on, um, not by the windmills, but the one over there, that was moving. That was definitely moving. I don't know whether it's my interaction that makes it move or whether time starting to come back or what but that was definitely moving so i want to go back and make it move again see what it's got to say for itself okay so we know the deal this time let's go oh this is like a uh it's like a, a spyglass harbinger okay my affirmation is curiosity has seeming has seemingly I'm assuming that makes has seemingly validated the long held fears of the archaic cataclysians. I regret to inform you that a spacefarer is, as best as our instruments can measure, on a direct path for our humble valley, approaching in nigh thirty cycles. It is impossible to know for certain, but it may very well be the return of the object referred to as the nomad in the ancient text. I suggest a conference of the affirmationists to, to address possible courses of action, though certainly the revivalists will have to proceed at the table. Perhaps our peers of the Chronatorium may be capable of bending our streams in time. Holy shit, this is getting way more complicated. Christ. Okay, a copy of the warning to Authoria, Sadio Lothario, is some of the Ocularium aff affirmationist, Gimini in 1972. So my, my theory of, like, time is backwards, that's out the window now, because... These guys are clearly the advanced ones. Like these, these are the ones who are... They've got, like, the scientific mind. So they're... You know, he's he's looking through a scientific instrument to see the nomad that the older cultures, like, talked about. So if that's 1972, and that wall was built in, like, ni in, what, 599... I've kind of approached it almost in the right order. Like, I, I've messed up, like, the specific order of stuff, like, uh, on each side. But I've definitely kind of approached it in the right in the right way. Because everything off to the right on this map was old. Like, real old. 
and it was all stuff about how the nomad is coming to save and how it's or coming to destroy you know the hopes and dreams of the of the people who's born in the nomad or you know the, it'll cause a, a cataclysm that will wipe everyone out whereas on the left side of the map it's like it's scientific discoveries so you've got these guys with the the dog just grumbled at me she's like what the hell are you talking about uh, so you've got these guys you know looking at the nomad through a like a, a telescope you've got guys who can bend time like that's that's crazy i'm assuming that's bit that's that bit over there it could be the rest of no it'll be that pendulum but i didn't get to read the rest of the pendulum did i I should have time after this one. What I'll do is I'll go back to the pendulum once I've read this, because I've got time to do this. I'll read the rest of the pendulum, and then I will uh, go and discover whatever that thing is there. Then tell me this is hidden somewhere. It's got to be in the big one, right? Yes, it is. Okay. Herald. The Nomad will return. Revivalist graffiti cycle... 1500 so there's the revivalist the affirmationist and the other ones so are the, are the revivalists the ones who can bend time then maybe that's what they are god this is getting real complicated i really wish i'd written this down i might have to edit two parts of video together like stop recording so if I can find the descriptions for all the things, line them up in chronological order and then read them. Because I've been rounded like a stupid order now, I can see that. Admittedly, I didn't know it was a stupid... Whoa, whoa, holy shit. Oh my god, look at this. There's an entire city down here. What the hell? I didn't even realise this was here. It's like, it's like buried. Well, not buried, but it's like all the way down in the valley. Oh my god. That's got to be it. That fountain. That's it. I don't have time to read that, I don't think. I don't think I've got time to read it. I might have. But I don't want to get an incomplete thing again. Okay, so I need to go over there. See that uh, that dome thing over there? I need to go over there and finish reading that. So time isn't backwards. Everything off to the right, that's like old. That's real old stuff. Everything off to the left, that's new stuff. So you've got the revivalists, the affirmationists. I'm assuming the revivalists are like, well, they think the nomad's going to do something to revive them, presumably. Yeah, it's definitely, things are definitely speeding up. It's funky. That is... God. Oh, look at this place. See, I, it might be a really simple art style. It might be very, you know, like low poly, but and the texture work might be simple, but it, it really does work. I mean, this looks good. This looks really good. They've done a lot with, uh, with like, effects and stuff. It's really kind of made this look special and not plain I think it's in very real danger of, of looking plain but somehow it doesn't up here ah it is do I even have time oh, I don't have time to read all that but look at that look at that That's, yeah, that's a nice view. Goodbye, world. Right. I reckon we've got two resets left before we finish this. So we need to go down into the valley and turn right. And then once we've done that, once we've investigated that city, found that symbol, uh, once we've double checked what the other symbol said, which looking at it is the time 
Yeah, it's time. Okay, so those are the guys who can presumably bend time and shit. Yeah, so what was I saying? So right hand side, old, superstitious, you know, cataclysm. People think they can be born again or saved by the nomad or alternatively destroyed by the nomad. And then left side, you've got scientific. So you've got the discovery of the uh, the crystals that absorb light to produce power or energy or whatever. You've got the wall, which was... Is that all? Oh, that was 599. So I guess that's kind of middling. Well, no, not middling. Closer to closer to the superstitious than the scientific, by the look of it. And I'm, I'm assuming there's like a whole load of superstitious going on in this place, because, well, look at it. But, yeah, that's... That's funky, I like that. I feel like I'm saying that a lot, but it's because I genuinely do. Like, I, I don't do these kinds of games, like, generally speaking. I'm, I'm very much a... Uh, I know it sounds daft, but quite often I'm either just, like, a dumb action guy. Like, I, I like blowing stuff up, shooting stuff, and... Uh, and especially, I mean, sci-fi is the thing I really love. And... Or it's narrative. It's one of the two. It's it's either kind of stupid action, uh, preferably in some sort of sci-fi basis. That's why I love uh, Sins, of the Solar Sins of the Solar Empire so much. It kind of it's massive capital ships blowing each other away. That's 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 my that's me down to a T really. Or it's really narrative-driven stuff, like stuff that sells a story really well. It's one of the reasons that Transistor, I think, is probably I think at this stage it's probably my favourite game, pretty much of all time. Just the way it approached storytelling. It had solid gameplay mechanics backing it up. Um, and of course you've got the... I thought little touches in that game. Like being able to sing along to the music that's playing in the background. So like I think it was if you held tab or was it shift one of the two. Then the character Red that you played would actually hum to whatever the backing music was at the time. That was a that was a fantastic touch. It was brilliant. I absolutely love that. Uh, so to actually find myself so kind of enthralled by this... It's kind of unusual because it's not the kind of thing I'd usually go for. There's, there's there isn't any dumb action. There isn't any blown stuff up. There's no spaceships. There's nothing. Yeah, I've got your kind of standard fantasy tropes of like warriors with massive swords or dragons or whatever. And the storytelling itself is very sparse. It's very, very discovery driven. But this kind of combination of discovery driven clues and stories, but like combined with the. Uh, the push of of doing this stuff before the nomad gets to you or resets the world i really like that okay so for 17 cycles we have struggled searching for a way to prevent our or forestall the impending visitation of the observed spacefarer affirmationists and revivalists united have found no refuge i fear that inability to admit defeat and leave this valley may bring about a destruction but the hope of the aggregaria lingers with it with the people old ways die hard this may not be a destruction we can outrun, even with ten more cycles between us. While the revivalists toil with their spire, I may I place my remaining confidence in the young apprentice conserver Loth Comsera. If anyone can uncover the mysteries of the stream bending, it may be her. Blimey. Okay. So you've got these guys who can bend the streams of time. That's mental. That's quality. The revivalists have built this spire assuming they think that the uh, the nomad will well do some sort of reviving the aggregariat seems to be have, have been mentioned like quite a few times throughout all of the time periods from what I can remember of the other ones so god oh, this has just got so confusing so confusing but good confusing but interesting I'm absolutely going to Google the hell out of this afterwards. <laughs> I want to. I'm going to be going on the on the uh, Steam forums. I'm going to see if people have uncovered the story. Whether they can give like a, not like a, an idiot's rundown, but just maybe just sharing some theories or something. Skip that wall. Yeah, I can. Luckily, my lad is built like a bloody mountain goat, which I'm not complaining about in this case because it makes getting about a lot easier. Now we could go around and visit all the places again and read them through in order but we're not going to do that because that'd be mental and this is already going to be an hour long video at the very least so <laughs> doing that would be like not a behaviour I'd imagine if you're more sensible with your route planning you'd be able to do this a lot quicker than I've done it but I don't think there's any reason to play this game quickly I don't think you'd want to 
You should absolutely play this party like for yourself, by the way. Okay, Exodus. Maneria is a city of towering majesty built upon humble foundations, built upon crumbling ruins. Memories lost to dead streams can sometimes be revealed through stone, but our ancient nightmares are aligning with reality, and these stones cannot protect us. This nightmare may not have the agency our ancestors ascribed it, but the result will be the same. The hopes proffered by every sect have proved to be too little too late, and we cannot stand stubbornly awaiting the arrival of some fabled all-knower. We must venture forth without wavering and hope we can outrun our fate, a fate which clearer eyes may have foreseen and clearer minds may have forefended. From the Exodus dialogue presented by the authoritative of Maneria, Asio Lothsadio, in 1999. So, 1999 is the cut-off point. I've seen, we've seen that date a few times now. 1999 is the... is like the end, it's the stop, it's the halt. And judging by the fact that we are the only people here, like I say we're the only people, this character, <laughs> me, I am, it's this chap, what we're wandering about with, is the only person still here, I'm assuming the Exodus was successful, and I was left behind. And let, no, 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 maybe, no, maybe I'm just going mental now. I was going to say maybe we're the aggregariate, like we are the, the collective consciousness, because the nomad is the thing that they fear and the thing that keeps resetting the world, like keeps fucking about with time. And the guys who can do the time stream thing over there, they can't do anything about it. The guys who are... I mean, that windmill place just gave us the symbol for the nomad. It didn't really give us anything else. Um, let me get back there now. Uh, the guys who were up there somewhere but we can't see... They observed it. I think they only observed it. I don't think they were trying to stop it. But people mining that crystal <laughs> got some bloody legs. Um, <laughs> were, I, I guess presumably building a device to, to do something about it. So the Nomad's been around for a while. So it like hit at the start. It hit during the early years. The wall was constructed at like 599. Presumably the entire world was just like what the hell is going on. Maybe these people in the valley have got some answer cause, answers because they keep building like bloody monuments to it and shit. Uh, so there's a lake down there with a boat. I wanted to look at that more, but I won't. Because the thing he's going to hit any second. Um, so there was a gap. There was a massive gap. There was, the, there was the idiots. Idiots on the right. Idiots, superstitious idiots on the right, yeah. And then there... Oh yeah, there you go. The little symbols come up for the uh, the crazy crystal pad over there then there was a break there was a big break a long break nothing happened right there was there was now for a long time and then then the spire no then the nomad appeared in the sky again so that's when they got all crazy they're like okay we need to stop the nomad this is bad we've seen it referenced before we've seen the you know there's there's an ancient superstition about the aggregariate which i mean i still think is like some sort of collective consciousness of everybody um, or some sort of or like all-knowing god figure that turns up and saves them. Um, either way, we've got an issue. So the guys who are messing about with time over there, we're messing with the streams. And I'm assuming it's streams because the water statements from earlier, from the last video, like show some sort of spiritual connection to water. But they view time as streams, which they can block and you know, manipulate. They're trying to do it to stop that, but that hit anyway. And now, so there was an exodus, that hit, probably before the exodus, maybe at the same time as the exodus. Um, either way, we're the only ones left, this didn't work, that didn't work, none of that worked, but there's a giant crystal thing over there that might have worked, which is the combination of the knowledge from all of the stuff off to the left and the right, at some point. Ugh. And we're back to Fade to White again. I'm going to read the thing for the Spire one last time, just in case. I think that might be the first mention of, like, 1999 that we had. This better not all be, like, an elaborate joke about the, uh... The Millennium Bug. <laughs> Do you remember that? Okay, our hopes manifest in this place. Ancient beliefs and modern ideals coalesce. Yeah, so, that bits of what I just said. I can read, it turns out. We've prepared the Index, we've prepared the Ark, and now we ascend the completed Spire to await the Catalyst. 
The others have gone, but we remain. The Aggregary will be revealed among us, collect the Index, and render itself upon the Ark. Our history will not languish in the dust of this world, it will live among the stars. So this is the Revivalists who did this, we know that. The Revivalists are the one who, who built the Spire. So they built it, they ascended it. The guys who are in the city were not Revivalists, I don't think. I think, were they Affirmationists? I think the guys in the city were the Affirmationists and the guys... Oh, sugar. <laughs> don't go down there. Um, I don't know what... To, I don't know if you can die. Maybe you can't die. I wasn't about to just walk off a cliff anyway. So I think the Revivalists were the ones who built the spy. I think the Affirmationists were the ones who were in the... Uh, in the city. They... You know, they had the Exodus thing going on. They all left. Although I don't know where they went because of that bloody massive wall over there. Where did they go? Unless the gates were sealed after them. Because it says the... I mean, it says it was built in 599, but it doesn't actually say that the gates were, like, never opened again. So they could have easily just... Say easily, look at the size of the gates. They could have just opened the gates and left. So, uh, I don't know. Hopefully we'll get, like, closure on all this and... At least some of the stuff I've been gibbering about for the last, like, 50 minutes will turn out to be true. Otherwise, I'll be upset. But still, I'm I'm happy. I'm happy with this. I've enjoyed this so far. And I think I could kind of handle it if all the questions weren't answered, because I, I like the mystery that this has kind of produced. So... Uh, it's done a good job of entertaining me and making me think. And it's done it whilst looking incredible as well. And sounding really good too. Still a bit... I, just, I don't know whether I'm unhappy about the lack of like footsteps or kind of noise from the, the world in general. I mean, I assume you wouldn't have much noise. Because, well, there's no time. So, you know, nothing's moving apart from you. I think the game seems to be about an hour and a half. Maybe a little bit longer, maybe a bit shorter, depending on how efficient you are at getting around. I think just footsteps for that long. I don't think it would work. I don't. Yeah, I don't think that would. I don't think that would add anything to it. I think it might detract from it, if anything. Okay, so we've got everything on the map. We have been to all the monuments. We've got all the symbols. The pad is lit. I think we're the aggregariat. I think this is the index, and next time the nomad hits. We're going to somehow join with it and go into the stars. Oh, there we go. So that's what they constructed from the... Cool. You should have left me behind, though. We're still here. That's gone, but... Oh, no, wait, no, maybe not. Maybe not. No real answers. And you know what? I don't mind. I honestly don't mind. I'm... I'm, I'm happy with that ending. I think... I think maybe at the end of all of that, you were actually the catalyst. Like... It talks about the catalyst. I think that's what you are. And you... I don't know whether you fix everything, but it looks like you definitely do something that... I guess people have been working towards for however many cycles it was. I really enjoyed that. I really did enjoy that. That's a really nice game. Really well thought out. Really well done. Looks gorgeous. The music's fantastic. And honestly, I could play it again. I could honestly go back and play it again. Knowing what I do now about where stuff is, like how things are laid out, I could like perfectly happily start playing this again, take screenshots of the different things, and you know, try really hard to sit down and work out the story. And I can't think of another game that's done that for me before. Maybe Journey. But beyond that. I can't think of anything that's 
kind of giving me that feeling. Absolutely brilliant. Honestly, I I, I, I really heartily recommend you get this. I, I know you've watched me play it now, but I feel like this is one of those games where, and I hate using this phrase because it's really annoying, um, but there are some games where the best way to describe it is an experience as opposed to a game. I feel like this is one of those things. Like, you might well play this through and, you know, having watched this, know where all the stuff is, go and collect all the all the symbols, read all the all the excerpts and everything, and come to a completely different conclusion to me. I think we were the catalyst. I think that's what that was. I think there's this kind of the aggregariate was that thing over there. That contained all the knowledge, all the memories. That's what everyone was walking working towards. And by going round and uh cataloguing everything, getting the index, I think that's what this is. I think this is the index. And then launching that crystal. I think that's that's what it was. It's getting all the knowledge and all the memories and all of the all of the work of the people off the planet, or at least out of the valley, before the nomad hits again. I think that's what that was. But you could come up with a completely different interpretation of that once you've read it all. Because you know, you can go and find it yourself, read it through yourself, and draw your own conclusions. I really enjoyed that. If you like the video, like the video, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. If you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at Kiriath. And uh, yeah, I, I, I hope you enjoyed playing that through with me. And hopefully we'll find more stuff like this in the future. Because this has been a, a genuinely beautiful game. I'll see you next time. Toodaloo.